Hello, 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 guys. Today we are going to be making homemade grilled cheese sandwiches. All time favorite of mine. Just gonna do a quick video. I was intending to do it the last time I made some, but I forgot to do it. So I'm gonna make a quick video today with grilled cheese sandwiches and the old fashioned way is to cook it on top of the stove. But someone told me about the George Foreman grill. They said, you don't know what you're missing. Try it on the George Foreman grill. And I did. And I've been doing it that way ever since. And it is delicious on the George Foreman grill. So, what we're going to be using is some cheese here. Okay, we're using some cheese. And I have a block of cheese. This is some I've already cut. And have been using but it's like this comes in a whole block so you can either do the block cheese if you prefer and just cut off what you need or you can use the um, cheese that comes in the bag okay so like the um, 8 ounce bag of cheese or 16 ounce bag of cheese Whichever one you prefer. But I'm going to use the block cheese here that I have um, bought. Okay. And then, of course, you're going to use your bread. You can use the white bread, wheat bread, rye bread. Whatever type of bread suits your fancy. It doesn't matter. Just your bread of choice. And, of course, we're going to use some good old buttery cooking spray. So... You know, normally when you cook it on the stove, you put butter in your skillet and fry it. But this works wonders for the George Foreman grill. We're not going to spray the grill. We are going to use a piece of aluminum foil. And that's what we're going to put our bread on. So what we're going to do, the spot where the bread would lie, we're going to give it a generous amount of spray on our pan like so so we know we have two pieces of bread so we're going to spray each side of our aluminum foil where our bread would rest so you just give it a generous amount of spray okay and all we're going to do is take our bread and we're going to lie a piece there and then, of course, we're going to fold this piece over because you're folding your aluminum foil in half. So once we slice our cheese, we're going to take the cheese, lay it on top of this piece of bread, and then we're going to close it up with the second piece like you're making your sandwich. And then we will fold the aluminum foil over. Okay, let's cut our cheese. So we're just simply going to slice it off. You can slice it as thick or as thin as you would like. Remember, you're using a George Foreman grill, so once you close it down, it will evenly cook your um, sandwich. Oh my goodness. Did y'all see that boo-boo on the camera? Wow. Okay, so well, you can slice as thin or as thick as you want. As you can see here, um, the slices thickness that I'm using and the same second piece there and we're just going to place that on our bread and it's up to you as to how many pieces you want to use or the thickness that you want to use so we have two pieces there. Um, if you want it to be very, very thick, you can always add more cheese to it. Okay, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to do a thin piece now to make it even. So we're going to put that on that side to make it even. 
Then we're going to top it with our bread. Our grill is already heating up. And remember, we sprayed it with the cooking spray. So we're just going to take that pad and put it over. Okay. And then all you're going to do is smash that down for your ends. And put it on the grill. Okay, you're just going to put it on the grill. Make sure the edge of that aluminum foil is down towards. So if some cheese melts and um, drips down, it will fall into your drip pan underneath. And then we just close it up. You don't have to mash it very hard because once the cheese gets heated up, it's going to automatically melt down. Okay, and you want to be sure to stay nearby the grill to check the grilled cheese center. Remember, it's cheese. It's not a piece of meat. So it does not take an extremely long time to grill. So let's give it a check. And be careful because it will be hot. But if you pull the edges of it, you should be okay. So you see here that cooking spray buttery cooking spray is on the bread you can see there so you can see the cheese has started to melt but we're gonna let it stay on here a few more minutes because I want that butter to caramelize on top of this bread and give it up like the brown grill marks we're gonna close that back up and let it cook some more Alright, our grilled cheese is ready. And you can see it has brown. We can see some light grill marks on here. And you can see why the aluminum foil is essential with making this because you see how the cheese ran out on the side from it. So let's take this up. And you can see the easy cleanup. No mess. No mess. Alright. We're just going to take our sandwich off. And with this we're having some strawberries and Cool Whip. Quick, easy, simple, and delicious. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kaylon Divine Inspirations. Again, that YouTube channel for you to, to subscribe to today is Kaylon Divine Inspirations. Easy cleanup. Just take your foil. Ball it up and put it in the trash. Easy, simple, and delicious. Delicious, 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 delicious. Simple, quick, easy. Look at those grill marks.
and it is delicious.